All right, guys, today we have a simple, random makeup look. I'm taking my Essence Jelly Grip Primer to prime my face with today because I knew that I was going to be using a lot of concealers, kind of matte concealers. I wanted to make sure that my skin was moisturized. I just randomly picked up different products to see if I can make them work. This is just type of stuff I like to do on the weekends when I'm like not going nowhere and I just want to experiment with makeup. And it gives me something that the next time I'm going somewhere, then I know what items to pick up, what items I like, what items work good together. So I took this Morphe 2 concealer. I'm not even sure if Morphe still sells this collection part, but I just felt like it was a darker shade and it had orange to it. I tend to really like for color correcting concealers that are darker and have a red or orange tint. And I also did my eyelids to get rid of that discoloration on my eyelids. So really right here, I'm just color correcting all my dark areas because I'm using a concealer and the concealers aren't full coverage. So I want to make sure that, you know, no darkness, hyperpigmentation shows through. So I'm just taking a very dense, small brush to kind of pat that in, blend it in. And this concealer worked well. Um, will I use it again? Yes, I will. I totally forgot about it. I was digging in my concealer collection, trying to clean up the makeup room and I came across it. So I decided to give it a try and I really like it. And this would be a look that you can wear to work, church, anywhere, really. You know, sometimes you don't want to do too much. You just want to do enough to feel like I put on some makeup. Hey, I put on some makeup and I'm good to go. That's kind of like how you want to feel. So this is the NYX Concealer Cream Stick. I can honestly say I probably use this like once or twice, so I'm not real familiar with it. So I'm going to have to come back and play with it some more. So, and I don't even know what shade it is, but yeah. And then I took my Lancome Tito in the shade 495 for my All Over Spot Conceal, my foundation shade. This used to be my thing. I already love Lancome. Y'all know this. That's not a surprise. But this concealer, once I found my foundation shade, like this used to be my go-to concealer. And I can't believe I misplaced it. For the first time in a very long, long, long time, I decided to wet my sponge. Wet my sponge to blend out this concealer. I was like, okay, now are you going for a very natural, simple, like skin-like makeup look today so go ahead and wet your sponge and see what you come up with normally you guys you know i don't like to wet my sponge because i feel like it soaks up so much product and we spend a lot of money on these products to have it soaked up by trying to blend it out so i made sure that i wet it and i squeezed it so so tight not a drip of dripping water was left behind right so yeah and then i just and everything blended really 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 well like really well i was kind of shocked i didn't want to take it off i didn't have nowhere to go so that was just me playing and makeup but next time i know that i can pick up these products and get this type of natural look that's me i'm a natural type girl and i just wanted to show y'all who i was listening to uh mina i like looking at her vlog so that's what i was listening to as i was doing my makeup it's always calming and relaxing to either look at a vlog or listen to some music or listen to a podcast or whatever while doing you know your makeup or even cleaning up i like to do stuff like that so here the next i'm going to use is lys uh concealer and you all know i really enjoy the foundation totally forgot i had the concealer i was hoping that it was going to be my foundation i mean my highlight shade and not a foundation shade and it was so yeah, I just let that sit for a minute. You know, the the NYX, it was a little too bright. 
just a tad bit too bright for my liking. <laughs> so I use my L'Oreal bronzer in dark. They have a deep dark and they have a dark, but I went with the dark today just to bronze up my face or whatever. Y'all, as y'all can see, I've been using my oil on my edges. They've already been growing back since I got my micro locks, I guess because I haven't touched them or whatever. But the oil has it on 10 times 10 times 10. So if you uh see, I ain't got no ball spots no more. <laughs> go Nana. Go Nana. Go Nana. So if you haven't checked out my DIY, no, DIY uh, hair oil for hair growth, then go ahead and check that out. Like, I've been using it nonstop. I've been using it on my hair. I've been using it on my face. I've been using it on my body. Like, I've been using that all for everything. I think probably within the next week, I'm going to have to make another batch. So, and I still have all the ingredients. It's one of the things where you can have ingredients for, like, two or three batches. So, so that's good to go. Oh, I feel like I'm losing my voice. I hope not. I felt kind of um, bad when I was putting on this uh, makeup. So, that's why I really wasn't talking. So, I hope I'm not trying to get sick. I just really, really hope. Right. So then if you saw my declutter video a couple of days ago, you'll so you'll see that I took this uh warm caramel by Superstay, this Maybelline pressed powder. I told you guys that at one point in time I loved to set my highlight with this particular powder. So y'all yeah, know I had to bring it back out and it didn't let me down again. Like Maybelline I know you probably still have the formula for this old powder because, like I said, they reformulated it. Just go ahead and just bring the old the old formula back because the new formula, I don't know nobody who talks about it. Nobody talks about it. Nobody knows about it. Just go ahead and bring the old one back because it works. As you can see how happy I got. So I just took the end of my bronzing stick, um, stick um, brush to clean up the edges so, you know, I wasn't looking rough and not blended. The key is to make sure that you're looking blended. So I took the same uh, bronzer and I'm just going to put it in my crease, in my transition area, in my crease. Nothing on my lid. This gives the illusion that you have on eyeshadow. This gives the illusion that you did the most when... Nine times out of ten, you didn't, and it took no time at all for you to do that. So just get you a a brown shade, a bronzer shade, whatever type shade, and put it in your crease, and you'll be good. So yeah, when when I think of simple face, I'm thinking of mm, not much effort, not much work, but the face still looks. Like you did something. That's in my head. When I think of those type of looks, that's what I'm thinking about. And y'all already know I love a good one to eyeshadow look anyway to begin with. So this was right up my alley. Uh, I had no problem with this at all. Yeah. And just take a very, this was a very fluffy, skinny brush. So I made sure that I didn't really get found, I mean, eyeshadow everywhere. Then after that, I'm going to take my Essence Eyeliner. And if you're new to my channel, I have never known how to do an eye wing. A wing. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> but I, I know enough to draw a line, right? As you can see. I left this clip in because I really just wanted y'all to see. So that's my definition of a wing. <laughs> so yeah, and I keep saying I'm a practice, I'm a practice, but drop down and let me know if you guys still do cat eyes. Do y'all do wings? Do y'all still draw wings? Because uh, the last tutorials that I've been watching, like I haven't even, people don't even do eye wings anymore. It could be me, but I don't know. I haven't seen them do it so one eye always comes out perfect as you know that's with your eyebrows and eyeshadow and everything and then one eye you gotta work extra hard with one eye i went to the mountains with the wing and the other eye the lining was in the valley okay <laughs> but that's just how it goes it won't be any lashes today 
I'm just going to take a mascara, which you'll see in a minute. Another mascara that I completely forgot I had. Yeah, but the next step after this, I'm going to take my Roasted Marshmallows, my favorite lip liner for the last couple of months. It's actually a liquid lipstick by Give Me Glow Cosmetics, and that's what I'm going to be taking to line my lips with. Once I try to make sure this um, liner is somewhat even, just somewhat even, right? I don't know what I was looking for. I'm always looking for something, thinking... Who knows? Yeah, use a liquid lipstick. If if you if you don't know about your liner, just grab you a liquid lipstick. It'll last all day. I didn't put on my ColourPop primer because I knew that I wasn't going anywhere. But if I was going somewhere, I would have put on my primer. But I know I wasn't going anywhere. So no need to waste good stuff. But I'm just going to do this video, take it off, and get back in the bed. <laughs> yeah, I learned my lesson on that one. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Let that dry. Then I took the Uma Beauty Level Up Mascara, which I completely, like, completely forgot I had. And it was okay. Like, it was okay. I'm just so used to putting on my little... Uh, lashes, nose was itchy, putting on my little lashes. So I'm like, do I even want to um, bother with mascara? Because when I put on my lashes, y'all, if you haven't noticed, I never like coat my lashes, my la my lashes with mascara. You know how back in the day when they were teaching you how to put on lashes, they would always coat their own lashes with mascara. I never do that, and I'm fine. And this is the NYX Lingerie Matte Lipstick. Do they still sell lingerie? Like, I used to have a friend. She used to be crazy. I got to shake it up. I, she used to be crazy about this lipstick. We used to walk on our lunch break to the drugstore just so she could see if they had this certain shade in stock. <laughs> and now I kind of get why she was obsessed with it because y'all know I'm not good with lip combos. So when I find one that really works for me, I had to stick to it, and this is, I found one that really worked for me. Y'all know I like a brown and a nude, and I'm good to go. Something that doesn't overpower my lips. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm happy with this combination. I got to remember it. It's kind of like a nude peachy shade almost. Yeah, kind of like a nude peachy shade. And then I'll miss my face, and then I'll jump back in so we can talk about the ending of this video all right guys I have made it back and this is my complete so random quick face when I am like in a rush or don't want to think about how to do my makeup I tend to pick up the most random products and hope that they work and for me this look right here gave me a fresh simple type face <laughs> i haven't picked up some of those concealers in quite some time so don't be afraid to experiment with your makeup even though let's just say you have a eyeliner and you want to use it as a lip liner go ahead and try it because you never know what might work and for me i'm not going anywhere i'm going back in the bed <laughs> after this but it just gives me an idea like hey next time i know i can pick up this this and this and have a quick look without really thinking about it so yeah drop down and let me know what are some of your favorite go-to products when you really don't want to think about makeup and the application because it's fun most of the time but sometimes and we don't need makeup we don't have to put on makeup every day but we enjoy putting on makeup for me i do i enjoy getting ready for work putting on makeup getting all girly for no reason <laughs> just to want to rush and come home every single day so yeah this is the completed full face of randomness if you enjoyed today's video give this video a thumbs up because it helps my channel out a lot and i'm gonna catch you all in the next one peace out bye y'all <laughs>